everyone, it's Crafty Mom with three sets of twins. I hope you're enjoying your day. This is a craft day for me, so I hope you will sit back and enjoy the ones that I make. Um, comment below if you like it. Comment below if you want me to make something that I haven't made before. And if you would subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell, that would be wonderful. I hope you have a great day. Hey everyone, I've got these really cute little crate boxes from Dollar Tree that everybody's probably used for something, I'm sure. I'm going to be making a little shelf unit. So I've got quite a few of them. Uh, some of them are not really level, so it was hard for me to find ones that were absolutely perfect. But I'm gonna say most DIYs are not perfect. So just bear with me. I'm going to be taking the stickers off the back of the boxes and I want you to know there was like a gap in the back but you couldn't see it and I don't know whether some of these boxes are a little bit warped but it's a great possibility so let's see what this turns out to look like. My daughter's passing me the boxes by the way that's why you see that extra hand in there. Alright I'm taking Dollar Tree wood glue and I'm going to glue the boxes together with the wood glue. Now this took probably several days because I would let it sit overnight and then I would have to put clips on it to make sure it would like seal really well. And then I didn't have enough clips so I had to like do two or three at a time, clip them. And of course you can see the little pink clips on the right. And I get them also for Dollar Tree, and they're great to clip things together when you're trying to glue something. I'm going to add a little bit of my glue gun so that it'll stick immediately, but it's still not um, really like steady enough for me to be working with it. I'm not going to say um anymore. So it did take me a while to get these all together because I didn't have enough clips. So it's just gonna, it probably took me two or three days because I wanted to get a really good tight fit. And there were still some gaps, but I put some spackle in some of them that would actually show. I've been wanting to do this particular craft for a while. I saw it on Pinterest and it was such a cute little craft to do and it turned out gorgeous. So just wait till the end because it was a long process because I did paint it and that took forever. But as you can see, it's not as tight as I would like it, but for what I'm using it turned out and there's the spackle that I'm using at the top because this is the top of the box or the crates. So I'm just going to fill in some of those little gaps. And this spackle also came from the Dollar Tree. Actually everything came from the Dollar Tree as you will see in the end. Okay, I am using Waverly's chalk paint. I love this color. It's such a pretty green. I believe it's moss. 
And this was a brand new one, but I'm just going to be painting. This took a long time. I had to use two coats. I would use my heat tool to dry it. And because this was really like a big, um, I guess a big shelf unit that I made. So because it was such a light color, I did do two coats. I still love this color. It's such a pretty color. Okay, I'm going to add some moss to the boxes. And I'm adding flowers. You won't be able to see it from this way because I had to add it this way. I took one of Dollar Tree's, I guess, I don't, I mean, they had those ones that hang. And I took it apart and I made a little stand for it on the back. I took the little tools, which are made out of cardboard, and I put some little blocks on the back and I actually tagged them together. And I'm just setting them on top of the box. It's really turned out cute. And I made a little stand for the flower too. So I just pulled this one dollar item apart and just used it in pieces. Now you can sort of see what I'm doing because I had my daughter come around and film this so you could see it, which makes much more sense. But I had to leave it on the counter because I had nowhere else to work so that you could see what I was doing. So I used nine boxes, I'm using some moss that I'm going to put in some of the little boxes. And you could pretty much put anything that you want in this little item, I guess you would say. Um, you can make it longer, you can make it taller. I just really like the simplicity of this. I'm using a lot of the succulents from Dollar Tree and some of my uh, florals. And you could just place them wherever you want. You could do all flowers. You could do succulents. Pretty much you could do anything you want. But I love the way this turned out. It's so pretty, so cute. It'll brighten up any room. Be cute in the kitchen, in the bathroom, on your front porch. And I didn't glue any of these in, I just put them in there. Because that way you can change it, you could change it like for different seasons. I think I'm going to make one for Christmas though, I think I'll paint it red. I might even make it longer. So I think I might start working on that one now because it does take a long time and sometimes you can't find the boxes. So sometimes they'll have a lot in, sometimes they'll have one or two. So when you see them, I would definitely grab them. This reminds me a little bit of the old Coca-Cola crates, which I do have some of those too, but I would never paint over those because they're more of an antique item, but maybe I'll do that to one of my, my Coca-Cola crates. God, I can't even talk. Coca-Cola crates. And I'm just going to put the little signs up. I think this turned out so cute. And look how cute that is. Just excuse the mess in the background because it is my craft table. But look how cute this turned out. Love all the different colors.
Love how this turned out. Absolutely love it. I think it's quite a stunning item. Here it is again. Different lighting, of course. But look how pretty that is. Actually, I used two different cameras, so you can see the difference in the colors. All right, DIY number two. Okay, I got this at Dollar Tree, the wire. We bought the rope off of Amazon. I spray painted it gold. It was green. I didn't show that. I spray painted it outside. My daughter is going to macrame this really cute horn decor item onto this it looks like a rainbow I believe rainbow but we got this at Dollar Tree oh I also took a piece of wire and made the wire go across the bottom and I hooked it together with those what are those plastic things called yeah I hooked it together with zip ties so I spray painted the zip ties the same color because you can't see it but it's on the end so I had a piece of wire that came from one of the Dollar Tree items that you stick out in your yard that I didn't use so I cut that so it would match the wired piece from Dollar Tree like I said I zip tied it spray painted it gold and my daughter is now she is going to macrame onto this wire and if you wait till the end to see how gorgeous this is because we were out shopping one day and we saw it at world market and it was like 40 or 50 dollars and i looked at her and i said we can do this and we did my daughter has done macrame before so and as you can see she's just going to put it through and just loop it that's all you do and she went all, she got much more patience than i do because she did this whole thing she's quite the crafter I mean, really, she's got patience because I'm sitting here going, oh my gosh. She got it all even. Look at her pretty nails that came from Dollar Tree. Love those dollar nails from Dollar Tree. Look how pretty her nails look. This too is a little bit time consuming, but you'll see in the end how gorgeous it turns out it is such a pretty hanging acrame mac mac i can't even talk today <laughs> i can't i don't know what's going on with me i'm tired so maybe that all right so i put a piece of this fabric to the back of it all right first of all i glue she should have showed that you should show that part um i had glued all these flowers on with the greenery on it and I really didn't like it okay and it really wasn't working so I pulled it all apart okay because you should see that you know DIYers we make mistakes too and sometimes we don't like it and we pull it apart so then I had this fabric ribbon so I decided to uh, glue it to the back of the wire so that the flowers would actually stay better and I ended up pulling all the greenery off the flowers because it just looked so much prettier so that it's all basic one color so here I am gluing it to the fabric which took a while but it also took us a while to find flowers that we liked because I think she macrameed this at least what a month ago yeah she macrameed it about a month ago and I kept looking for the right flowers because I didn't want it to be bright. I didn't want it to be dull, but I want it to be sort of like just um, basic. Yeah, sort of something that would fit in with any decor. And like I said, you'll see the world market one at the end. And it was, I think it was $49. Unless you had one of their coupons. So I'm just gluing all of these like around the arc. 
And I really like the fact that I put the, I guess the burlap ribbon underneath of it because it made it so much easier to do. Because I had a mess going before. And there it is. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. I do. I think it turned out awesome. Look how pretty that is. Gorgeous. If you want to buy anything, I do have a store called The Coffee Shop. Uh, you can go in there and buy a lot of my things for cheaper. And there is the World Market one. There is this a little bit smaller. Mine's larger. But there it is. I love the way this turned out. And there again is my little succulent, I guess, flower market box. And these are pretty simple that you could do yourself. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, notification bell. I appreciate all of you. Have a great day. Love you. Take care. Bye.